All right, and welcome everyone to another Monday Night Smite. Uh, I'm, of course, as always, Shiv. The Krampus. And uh, as usual, we're just going to kind of drop right in and see what we get. Yeah. Uh, side stream, by the way. Oh, yep, yeah, side stream. One thing that unites us all this holiday season for getting side stream. Should be up now. Yep. I got it. Yeah, as usual, we're just going to kind of drop right into conquest, see what we get. Uh, I don't think we have any quests that require us to play specific things right now. Uh, still handy gods and hunters. We'll see what happens. No guarantees we'll get handy gods done. If we get hunters, we get hunters. It's so low. Uh, so last time we did solo, we did Mulan. Uh, so let's do Amaterasu, which basically is the same. Last time we did uh, Mulan, who is very much an ability-based god. So this time, we will do uh, Amaterasu, who is very much a auto-attack based god. We'll basically end up being an entirely different item build and playstyle. Agni, Jormungandr, Charybdis. Yes, Charybdis. Uh, yes, the mid's going to be Agni. Uh, Cthulhu's probably going to be their solo. Part of Team Ruby was one of the best decisions I ever made. If I had to guess, it's going to be their solo. start with, we're going to do uh, Leather Cow, which gets us a little bit of life steal, a little bit of attack power, some power, some MP5. It'll also give us more attack power when we're near the people or movement speed when we're not. So when we get in team fights, we'll have faster attack, otherwise we'll be able to move around a bit faster. Uh, and then we're starting with round shield, moving towards uh, Berserker Shield, which is uh, attack speed, some pen, protection, power, and when we drop to low health, we get additional power and additional attack speed. Hitting fast is going to be a thing. Notably, 
be built by assassins and guardians, or not assassins and guardians, assassins and warriors. As I thought, we're gonna be going up against the table. Now, Amaterasu does have built in healing, so she's a little bit better at sustaining than. Not a huge amount, but. Not gonna clear as well as a guardian. They just have better starting stats than a lawyer does. And I don't have any of my self healing yet. Oh, I see why. Of all three of our abilities are kit. First ability just basically give us a either a power bonus or a movement speed bonus, and every time we activate it gives us a heal. Uh, second ability gives us a bit of uh, damage mitigation and charges up for uh, an attack, which we can also just trigger automatically. Uh, and our third ability is a dash uh, that silences. That damage mitigation will actually like collect some of the damage from the case and then shoots it back out again. Yeah, it basically builds up. Have you learned your lesson yet? Your middle tower is under attack. That's much lower than I would like. Some sort of magic defense, or they usually would. Well, I typically wouldn't necessarily build magic defense doing this, but we can we'll see do what this happens. Together. Uh, they're fine on certain gods. Enemy down. Let's celebrate with some tuna. The, the chalice is for uh, reference for the audience. Uh, you can see that she's been buying like health potions and mana potions when he goes back to uh, base. Uh, those cost money for the war office. There's an item you can get the chalice. Can't be good. Uh, it's not called a chalice that just has three charges of healing and refills when you go to the town. It's more expensive than to purchase, but if you're constantly buying health potions, you may pay for it something along. I won't let you down. The idea is you don't really want to be constantly buying health potions. Like, if you would spend more than the 300 or cost to buy a chalice, then it can, can be worth it, but otherwise, you're better off not. You're paying for something, you're basically paying more than you would use if you just bought like three potions and use more than that. I won't let you down.
Looks like I got another teammate. Enemy missing metal. Have you learned your lesson yet? Finish off with Zerker Shield. Um, do you need magical protection until Bilku, uh, Shogun's Katsari right now? I'm just gonna give us magic protection so we can take hits from uh, Cthulhu a little bit better since all the Guardians are mages or uh, magic damage. Uh, it'll also, once we have it fully upgraded, uh, just have an attack speed aura that gives attack speed to both ourselves and everyone in the area. I never realized that. Oh. You're right, they're all magical based. Yes, every guard is magical based. I could have sworn that there were a few of them. Not looking at the, the ones I thought. Calm down, the Cthulhu. Just oh. I mean, the damage type is actually determined by, by, like, class. So all guardians are magic, all mages are magic, uh, uh, all warriors, assassins, and uh, hunters are physical. Speaking of nurse, I got another teammate. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense, actually. Do this 
Bob Malik. Yeah, so my best place for actually kind of protecting myself is my ultimate, which does stun after the third hit. But yeah, uh, if you hit with all three. But uh, he can't be stunned while he's in big giant cathedral mode, so... I cannot use that as a defense. They're getting better and better. That can't be good. Thanks. You think Cthulhu thinks Pookie or Ghost? from you too, uh... uh, We may just go Kim Size off of this. Getting the extra life skill would be nice to keep us alive, but Kim Size will help our damage. They are dead. Getting better and better. Your right tower is under attack. Your right tower has been destroyed.
your lesson yet? Pushed up a bit. Yeah. Try and clear some of these camps as we rotate around because we're a bit behind on XP. Good jump and get out of the second hit, but we still got it. Have you learned nice. Bad snack. Enemy down. You are a force to be reckoned with, but I promise you. Ah, I almost got him. Triple kill. You're unstoppable. A Wyvern's got nothing on you. Change your mind about kin size. Yeah, we'll grab the life steal first. Mm. Right, we're gonna get both. So we'll grab that, we'll grab kin size, and then we'll finish off with a uh probably uh, Probably a frost hammer. Get a bit more health and uh, we'll slow people when you hit them. Both movement speed and attack speed, so they can, can't escape us as well. Oh, you picked the wrong fight, kitty. Oh, that's not been so good. Have you learned your lesson yet? Don't let this stop you. I got greedy. I wanted the cat. So dramatic. 
You got this. I cannot answer that question for you, Tiamat. All I know is that we won't be in this game for much longer. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty rough game. Your middle tower is under attack. Arise, my fire! is under attack. You're getting better and better. Have you there, learned your lesson yet? What's your problem? Yeah. 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 Your team has destroyed a middle enemy yeah. tower. That's one way to pass time. I'll be fine. Oh, I'm getting better and better. That was unnecessary. Looking at Ursa got another teammate. At this point, though, I mean, whatever. Rec recklessly dive tower for a kill. Doing. At this rate, we will defeat the White Fang. Uh, Doc, the only answer I can give to that question. Not correct. I mean, they won't take it away from that. They should have just attacked. Your middle tower is under attack. Twice about right. This should do the trick. Tap. Both Cthulhu and the uh, big ol' snake are pretty decent damage guardians. Have 
you learned your lesson yet? Break my own usual rule because I don't see this going any other way at that point. Ah. You wrong. Cancel that. That one is kind of a wrecking ball situation. Yeah. Like if we were kind of doing okay in the team fights, so like there's a chance we made one of one of them and get a good uh -huh. turnaround, but we were getting brutalized in every team fight. Uh -huh. People you'd want to see doing big damage out of our team, like oh. is an army, and yeah. just wasn't doing it. Uh. Uh. It happens. Yep. Such are the wounds of the MOBA. Jungle. Going in the jungle. We'll go maximum <laughs> spider. Yes. Well, unlike Bast, we've been playing mostly in jungle the last games we've done. Uh, Arachne is uh, similar to Amaterasu, an auto attack based uh, uh, assassin. Uh, although we will probably be building crit on her. Uh, there are some builds that don't do crit, but I'm far more familiar with crit builds on her, which uh, just kind of explode people. But she is very flimsy, so you'll typically end up using her alt to escape rather than actually engage. Uh, but assuming she can get her targets, she can tear them apart pretty damn quick, regardless of what they are. She just doesn't take a hit back at all. Also got to show off the funky arachne start. Oh. So we're going to be very quick at buying items at the start, so we need to get in the jungle as quickly as possible so we can set up some webs. Or not, because Formula Rhino didn't choose their, uh, their god. Back in the queue we go. Assuming we get jungle again, we'll do Arachne. Show off the spiders.
think one of these nights I'll need to do Unmastered God Night. Where I exclusively pick gods I haven't mastered, a lot of which I haven't played. Or I played like a game or two in Arena. Yeah. Okay, still got jungle. <laughs> we'll still do spider. Oh, this is going to be a game. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, that's two off picks for uh, so, and support. Yeah, like, Fenrir support isn't unexpected. That's not uncommon. Uh, Kamata's yeah, also being four. our solo means that we have basically no front line. Uh, they are also doing Fenrir. Uh, but Fenrir is probably actually their jungle. Uh, which means they probably have uh, Chengyi mid with... Uh, I'm going to assume Cthulhu and Medusa on duo lane. Odin and Solo and... Uh, Fenrir jungle, if you're assuming something standard. Uh, not move my ass. I want. My wings. And we're off. Greedy start or normal start? Hmm. We'll do normal start. Yeah, so we can have three of these webs up at a time. Now the web shoots out like a little like web thing on the ground that slows people that are in it. Uh, also, when the actual main web is broken, it releases two little spiderlings. Um, that hit things and have a couple, you know, we'll take a hit or two. Uh, but since we can have three of these up at a time, we can basically start the fucky match by throwing these on camps. So this first one we throw out will help us clear this camp. Uh, the second two, or the second and third ones we throw out, will start clearing this camp before we actually get to it. Oh. Oh, tricky. Uh, the other thing that's in, that you can do um, is if you want to steal some of your solo lanes XP, uh, you can actually throw your third one into the solo lanes uh, mana camp. And you get the XP as if you had assisted it. So you can basically steal some of their early XP to get yourself some, uh, some more early XP. At least they had each other. <laughs> They're having a bad start. Uh, Kamatoz already killed two people, and uh, Cheng got, uh, got killed by uh, Lane Minions. An enemy has been slain. 
That guy's not having a good right? <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, Fenrir also had a bad day. Fenrir! Oh! Is they doing Odin support? Hit. My aim was awful there. There's a lot of witch attacks. You're Bad. getting better and better. I deserve to die after missing like five autos. Ooh. Yeah. So besides the webs, our uh, first ability basically just does a uh, adds a little bit of initial damage, boost boost a, a a basic attack, adds some uh, extra initial damage and a dot, and also gives us a little bit of heal. Uh, and our second ability uh, basically gives us a little chunk of attack speed. Uh, and if our next three autos hit the same target, it will wrap them up and give us a... Uh, and uh, basically stun that target for a small period of time. So ideally what you do is you throw in the uh, web to go lock your enemies up as you make your way in. You will slow them down. Then hit both your one and your two. So you hit, you put a dot on them, you get some heal over time. You get two more hits, then you stun them, and then you just kind of finish them off if they can't do anything. As our build gets going, we'll also get some uh, the crit eventually just kind of burst through tougher targets. Yeah. Fenrir. You spin me right round. That can't be good. So the one nice thing about having like three assassins as part of your starting team is our early game pressure is high. Your right tower is under attack. Yeah. Especially since our front rear is already roaming for some uh A teammate is down. What's the plan? <laughs> oh, good boy. Brought a right to Yeah, except it was didn't have my stun anymore. Look, that's what happens when your dog brings you a dead bird. You're just not ready for the, you know, responsibility of the dead bird. I do it. Yeah, the thing about uh, Arachne is Arachne is really... I can focus down single targets. I basically have nothing to do against multi-targets. My alt technically hits multiple targets, but it's not really worth designed for. Oh, hi, puppy. Ooh. That was a good uh, Medusa. That was a really good Medusa. Uh, so we just finished off Golden Blade, which gives us some attack speed, movement speed, attack power, and uh, our basics now hit an area. Which you'll see when we go to clear this camp. That can't be good. And next we're going to start building up a Berserker Shield, which is the first time we had on uh, uh, Amaterasu last game. Gives us a little bit of defense, attack speed, power, and gives us a attack speed and power boost when we get to low health so we can try and finish off an enemy before they kill us.
use that. That was a waste. Hit the wrong key. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Ruby has your back. Spiders. No, I don't enjoy these spiders. Oh, that's unfortunate. They're gonna get spiders. An ally has been why was oh, I was about to say why was Helby behind tier one, but tier one's gone, so <laughs> makes sense why Helby pushed up so much. Ah, the counter dog fly. I've brought my own dog, thank you. A teammate is down. Oh, What's the plan? 1950. Your left tower is under attack. Your right tower is under attack. Enjoy your spiders. I'll be back for you. So we'll be able to buy our berserker shield by the time we go back. Your right to tower is under attack. So next, we're going to grab. Looks like I'm getting better money. Better. Uh, we're going to grab an executioner, uh, which will give us a bit more attack speed, some more power, uh, and it gives us a stacking uh, up to three times reduction on our targets. Uh, Nurse, I got another teammate. Protections, 12% 12, 12 every time we hit. Stacking up three times to strip some of that armor, give us a better kill. I'm also much more confident what I can get away with on uh, uh, Arachne, so like, going back in at 300 health. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't have anything to escape with. with and that was too little. At least she died too. Yes. Start going up for executioner. 
Their battle is over. That's right. Seven percent protect. I'm not, I think twelve percent. Twelve percent protect. Uh, stacks four times. So it's twenty-eight percent altogether. I think they may have changed it. I think they they reduced it from twelve percent per stack max three to seven percent stack max two or max four. But I think they increased the power on it from thirty to forty. So it just gives you a bit more raw hit. A little less strip. Two attack a left line. Okay. Fun times happen in the mid though. An enemy has been slain. Enemy down. Let's celebrate with some tuna. Murder team's coming for you, Medusa. An enemy has been slain. Do not fight. Let me aid you. Attack the gold fury. Retreat right lane. Wait, I got something for this. Stone Cold Dead. <laughs> not great, but I'm workshopping. Get your buff. How's that? Oh, you didn't get to live. Picking up our crit, we're going to start with Wind Demon. Uh, Wind Demon will eventually get us uh, 50 or 25, 20% 20 crit chance, 15% okay, attack better, speed, better. 25 power, uh, and every time we crit, we basically get a buff that gives us 10% penetration, 10% attack speed, and 10% movement speed. And then the second crit item we're going to pick up is Deathbringer, which is just power, 25% more crit chance, and our crits just hit 30% harder. Simple, but very effective. Yep. The thing that every crit build has. Uh, and then... A uh, we're going to grab Horrific Emblem, which will slow people down. 
So they can't really escape from us once we get in there. At least they had each other. You're getting better and better. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Bye. Give it to you to take care of things. Enemy down. Let's celebrate with an enemy help. has been slain. Oh, nice. Didn't need my help. for some reason. Can't be good. A teammate is down. What's the plan? <laughs> Life isn't like a fairy tale. An enemy has been slain. He really wanted it. <laughs> Wendy and Phil. So we'll start first in a bit. for the next step of our Deathbringer. So our Kamataz is doing quite well. I didn't see. What's his KDA? Uh, he's 12-3. Not bad. Yeah, we were uh, we were having some raised eyebrows at the beginning of this match when uh, we saw all the off picks that we were getting. You can see here, off picks work. Uh, off picks will can work if this can work early. So we have like three assassins. We're gonna have a lot of potential early pressure. Uh, late game. Maybe more trouble than the rest. You have slain an enemy. Yeah. You have been slain. Enemy down. Yeah, 
and I'm gonna have a lot of trouble because again, I'm very much a single target. Let's hope they both Burn a first single person down very quickly, but I have basically no defense. So if I have two or three enemies on me, they're just going to kill me. An enemy has been slain. And we don't have any guardians Shady or anything like that to heal for us. At this rate, we will defeat the White Fang. So we're basically going to have to rely on killing enemies before they can kill us. But they actually have defenders, so if the defenders do their job well, this could be very bad for us. But so far, as you can see, it's working out. Ow. You, you're getting better and better. Use my sacrifice. has been slain. At least they had each other. Push up lovely. Let's hope they both learned their lesson. A Wyvern's got nothing on you. Triple kill. You rock. You're getting better and better. Oh, I give up. Alright. Yeah, that worked out better than expected. We translated our early game pressure very well into mid game and Yeah. I was impressed that worked out as well as it did. Yeah, seventeen and four. to learn how to play Camelos. <laughs> or Camazots. The bat. The blood bat. Maximum bat. I 
Jungle again. I'm doing cat. And I'll be nice to not use that skin. Meow. <laughs> You'll never get that out of me. Rainbow Six Cat. <gasps> Tactical Cat. Attack the cat, if you will. They also have a best set. Yep, that's just pretty popular right now, except for the uh, change in the most recent patch. Yeah, the, the rework. That's generally how it happens. New character comes out, or a rework comes out, and everybody wants to play it. Let's have a fancy snowman. Battle to see who is the better bass jungle. Minions have spawned. Yeah. Okay. See if we can get an early King Arthur pick. Guess there's a first for everything. Didn't need to. That can't be good. Fortunately, they also got an early pick on Raw. Sorry. 
watch it over and see if it's six. Hey! How do you like that? You're getting better and better. Okay. So far, I'm a bit behind. Right there, left lane didn't press as much there are because these anomalies usually pretty good at uh, clearing lane. I guess you just gotta leverage that ability. Gotta be aggressive. Be e aggressive. Ultimate is ready. Okay. Is our Rod just being like hyper aggressive? Cause he's getting. I've got my eye on you. I'm waiting for like two seconds, then backing. An enemy has been How do you like that? So you couldn't kill a snowman? Well, I couldn't kill a snowman and his friend and a cat. Yes. Because my bird ran away. Yeah, but that doesn't fit in the song. Your right tower is under attack. Gotta commit, Birdman. Birdman, get in here. I think an Ursa got another teammate. A teammate is down. What's the plan? Enemy missing middle. The right tower is under attack. Okay. Enemy that can't 
can't be good. Yep's voice actor just reminds me Enemy of the Hey Dude middle. announcer. We're having problems staying up and you know careful, in lane. In we have taken both the left and mid tower. Better and better. An enemy has been slain. How do you like that? at it, yeah, what you're gonna do. What are you gonna do ah. about it? I can do about that. I wouldn't underestimate that. Right tower is under attack. I'm gonna jump on cooldown. <laughs> well, first, we took two towers and we don't have the gold advantage. We got two towers, we're doing awful at actually farming. Yeah. Your right tower is under attack. That can't be good. Which, if it continues, is going to matter a lot more in the long run. Getting How do you like that? How do you like that? Your right tower is under attack. They had each other. Hey. We're getting better and better. A teammate is down. What's the plan? Thank you. 
missing. Enemy missing right! Team has no map awareness and can't see it. There's like four people in the jungle just to the left of them and ignore them. Don't rotate five feet. Ultimate is ready. Sorry, your middle tower is under attack. An enemy has been slain. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Never know what hit him. How do you like that? Okay. Hold. How do you like that? <laughs> Life isn't like a fairy tale. Felt frenzy for some damage, assuming I ever live. Long enough to do right. Are a force to be reckoned with. Holy being a nurse, I've got another teammate. Your right tower is under attack. Your right tower has enemy down. Let's celebrate this in Luna.
Nice. Raw, don't stand it. Raw, seriously. An enemy has been slain. <sighs> You're getting better. Like one step it. forward, two steps back with this team. Every time I'm trying to get their freaking fast, I get attacked by like two other people. It's getting annoying. Tsunami and our Mulan DC. How do you like that? Look, there they go. They were just taking a nap in the uh, fountain for some reason. Enemy missing middle. Okay. Bad kid. An enemy has been slain. Hold. Not bad. I might hear that sound effect go on. I, I know that the cat is running forward of its own accord, but I can't help but see in my mind's eye you just fucking a cat. <laughs> Just terrible to do in real life, but it's a hilarious one. There we go, we got Phoenix.
back, so we should be able to buy our... Oh, not quite yet. Heartseeker's expensive. Can't be good. Oh, Particle effects. There. Good job, people aren't me. I'm happy to know you to death.
Whoa. Oh, that was a really good uh, assault. Upgrade our starter. No. Get back here. An enemy has been slain. Attack the whole by green cathedral cannot be. Raise the glow. to be reckoned with. One more time. Ass is very pitch by. Uh, yep. Quadra kill. Sorry. That's too bad. Yeah, their Medusa just cleaned house. Yep. You were doing good right until the part where everyone died. And the fact that our carry is doing uh, poorly. Or is the kind way to put it. Yeah, she's like one in five. Build is all over the place. Cause like, I guess they kind of built crit. Good. 
get Your mid as well. Attacks the Titan! Attacks the Titan! Time. There we go. That'll do it. Yep. At least they had each other. <laughs> Super scuffs, but in the end, the wins are win. Yeah, the enemy team just didn't do enough pressure those couple times when they, like, pretty handily smoked us. Yeah. They, they killed, like, four of our five and then sat around messing with Mulan the entire time rather than actually pushing something. <laughs> oh, it's about nine o'clock. Oh, uh, we'll do another quick. We'll do an arena. Do something quick. We haven't showed off arena yet. Uh, arena is uh, like conquest if you got rid of all the normal MOBA stuff and the conquest part. Uh, arena is uh, entirely a point based system. Uh, it's basically five on five, uh, but you get rid of all the lanes, just have a single group of minions that push right down the middle of a large open arena. Uh, every god kill uh, basically removes five tickets from your opponent. Every minion removes a ticket from your opponent. Uh, if your minions make it to the enemy gate, uh, your opponent loses a ticket for every minion that makes it through. Uh, every... Uh, I'll say it's 15... Every 75 or every 15 uh, god kills, some number around those around there, um, you get a siege minion that shows up. Uh, it is worth more points if it actually gets through and can actually do some damage, takes a bit of beating to kill. Basically push with it and try and get it into the, uh, the goal to knock some tickets off your opponents. And yep. uh, at when I think it's below five, only the lane leader is actually worth points. So it's you can win off a minion kill. You just have to be at super low tickets for it to actually happen. Uh, other than that, it's basically team fights the entire time. Uh, you have higher gold gain. Uh, every second you gain more gold. You gain ten gold as opposed to the three gold you get during uh, conquest. XP's ramps up. Uh, there are still buffs. There's a, basically camps on each side of the arena. It's it's pretty simple as far as layout-wise. Uh, yep. And you'll see all sorts of things, because no one really coordinates on builds. Name a god. Uh... Name a god besides Kepri. <laughs> Erlong Shen. Erlong Shen. I'm mis probably mispronouncing that name. Uh, apologies to everyone. That's how they pronounce it in game. Yeah. So. I'm gonna quickly pull up Erlong Shen builds while uh, we go into this queue. I do know that Erlang Shen is more of a auto attack uh, god. Yeah, uh, as I recall, his special thing is that he adds a portion of one of his stats to every auto attack. Yep, because it's Pupper. I think it's his. Uh, his uh, physical attack. I 
Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So uh, he gets a, each time he hits an enemy with a base attack, his dog also hits it for 15% uh, plus 1% of the target's maximum health. Uh, this only works against gods and minions. Uh, his one is, uh, gains additional physical damage in each strike. Uh, the effect is ended in the abilities on cooldown. Successful base attacks reduce the cooldown. Uh, pin, which he throws a spear. Uh, it does damage, and if you hit with the center, it roots the target. Uh, the third ability... You also start level 3 in Arena. Uh, the third ability uh, basically changes what it is depending so on where you cast it on the bar. Uh, basically either does Mink, which goes a little bit faster and boosts your attack speed, or Turtle, which gives you a shield and moves a little bit slower by big bounces. Uh, yeah, it knocks, knocks up people. Yeah. Uh, and then his uh, ultimate uh, is uh, he taunts, gets a bunch of damage mitigation, uh, and if he survives through the taunt and damage error and damage mitigation, etc., uh, he gets a heal for a mount plus a uh, you never know when uh, percentage of his health. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to roll. Oh. Well. I believe his last attack in his combo is also, or fourth attack in his combo is also an AoE. There's a lot of gods that's the case for. The end of their combo has some kind of cone or AoE. No, 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 no. <laughs> run, dog, run. Well, that was awkward. This will help our cause. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, you see her long shen in uh, jungle a lot. That is the most recent place I have actually seen being played. Really? Yeah. Sweet flips when he jumps. See, Arena just disposes with everything, and it's like, you want a team fight? Team fight. Run. Run, go to 15 health, damn it. <laughs> I wouldn't underestimate your opponent. Yeah, just, Marina is team fights all the time. Uh, you also see some, like, occasionally get weird comps. I've done, I've seen Arena games where, uh... Uh, we were five guardians. I've seen three games. We played five assassins. is also one of the places where I really like playing Guardians, because people don't typically play Guardians in Arena, even though it's usually great to have them. Yeah. I'll be honest, I play Arena a lot more than I do Conquest, just when I'm comfortable there. Right now. 
Um, but uh, one of the ones I really like in there is I actually like playing Sylvanas. Sylvanas or uh, or uh, kind of luck with Geb. Also there. Yeah, I mean Geb's good in general. Uh, Sylvanas pretty good in general. Uh, there's some like aggro-y Sylvanas builds that clear really well in uh, uh, Duel Link. Like Sylvanas using Mankin Scepter, which is uh, an item that basically just gives you uh, a starter that basically puts a dot on things and you hit them with, ba with basic attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, Sylvanas builds use that right now uh, because Sylvanas' basic attacks are AoEs, so it puts yeah. a dot on like the entire lane of minions. Very good for clear. Catch me, I'm a mink. This on my way. Spawns also really fast in the arena. Unless you're like really stomping the opposing team. They want you to get back in the fight as soon as possible. At least they had each other. You're getting better and better. 1350. An enemy has been slain. I think Mink stops if you hit an enemy. Yep, yeah, it does stop if you hit an enemy. Or hit a god. So we'll actually hang out a second and grab this before we. First part of this before we head out. Yeah. Having that 10 gold a second as opposed to 3 gold a second means you can wait for a moment. Yeah. Got an upgrade step. That's one way to pass time. You can get her 
Gosh, I got another teammate. Enemy that down. Final item is going to be, let's say, Odysseus Bow. For attack speed and bouncing damage. Yes. Ultimate is ready! Especially useful when everything is in a single lane all the time, that's exception. But still, I know the dog used to proc weapon effects. Doesn't look like it does anymore because it's just damage. Uh, I think it specifically didn't proc weapon effects. I, I'm pretty sure it's because they didn't want you to like double up on weapon effects. Well, no, I'm pretty sure it did before, but it did a like reduced percentage of whatever effect they had. Died. Call it away. That can't be 
Probably next week show off some of the other game modes, because uh, there's also Siege, which is a 4v4 2 lane mode, uh, Joust, yeah. which is 3v3 1 lane. Uh, there's also a 5v5 2 lane uh, mode, but I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. Uh, Clash. A potion of power, which is a potion that goes straight down or a straight down boost. They had each other. Twelve and yeah, nine. Clean, uh, I, I died much. a lot, but I killed people. Yeah. I tend to be overly aggressive in arena, which is fine most of the time. As long as I'm positive, I'm happy in arena, basically. Yeah, so next time we'll we'll check out some of the modes. So we have Joust, 3v3. Uh, they have a special arena that has, like, pits in it right now. We'll do some of that next week. Yeah. Uh, there's also Clash, which is uh, two-lane uh, 5v5. Has a special uh, mid-minion. Uh, Joust, the 3v3. Uh, Assault, which uh, is... A single lane 5v5, uh, but you get your god randomly. So you don't get to choose which god you play, it'll just give you a random god. Uh, yeah. And you can't go back to uh, Fountain. So you like tend to see a lot of people picking up uh, items you wouldn't normally start with just because they have better sustain, because you need to be able to stay in lane as long as possible. Uh, Siege, which is uh, 4v4 two lane. And then they always have a special mode each day. Uh, this right now it's grab bag, which is just a uh, big, like 40% starting cooldown reduction, capping at 80 as opposed to the usual, which is 0 and 40. You also start with 100,000 gold, so you can just start, like, basically fully built. And a random god. Yeah, and and you also have a random god in this particular one. But this, this will be different every day as far as what random thing this happens to be. Uh, sometimes it's like... Everything has maximum cooldown 80%. It's just throwing alts and attacks all the time. Uh, they usually do arena for those, and it's super fun. But uh, we'll check some of those out next week. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. We will be back yeah. again uh, tomorrow as we continue the battle against Crib <laughs> in uh, Phoenix Point. Uh, on Saturday at our new later time slot, usually probably about 9 to midnight, uh, we'll be back with something. I uh, think we're still doing some one-shots until the uh, ticks over into January, which we'll be starting uh, yep. Dongarumpa V3 at that point. And then on Sunday, continuing on with our Tales of Basaria playthrough. And, of course, back here on Monday for more Smite. I've been Shiv. I've been the Krampus. Right, have a good one, everyone.